How many dabs of acid is too much on this rope? So what kind of acid is that? This stuff has sulfuric, nitric, hydrochloric, ammonia, fluoride. This is just some nasty acids in here. Because it's basically the you know, sulfuric is battery acid. I mean, if you get that on your... Is that battery so, acid? Sulfuric acid is battery acid. Oh, well, this is perfect then so for a contaminated if, rope video. If you get it on your clothes, I mean, it's, within a day or two, I mean, you, you'll end up with holes in your clothes. Darn, I got my rope oily. 98% deep. Good stuff, Maynard. <laughs> the 10 hour protection, if you get it on your ropes, that actually looks like it's doing damage. <laughs> that looks really bad. Careful with this stuff. It's supposed to go on your body. The next thing we're going to test is sunscreen. This is chemical sunscreen and not mineral sunscreen. In the direction, it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. It'll help protect our ropes from UV light. <laughs> this is gonna make my slack set machine so messy. <laughs> I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to our Slack Lab where we like to break all sorts of things you're not supposed to do. Uh, today, we've got some DEET. We poured the DEET on here because, well, we wanted to make sure it's saturated. Now these are Sharpie marks and we wanted to know that it's just in the middle. Now let me tell you about how this experiment, the concept behind it, ropes break in knots. So if the ropes are breaking in the knots and the knots are unaffected, then we're getting full strength out of these ropes. Whereas if it breaks where the contaminant is, then that truly weakened it. Now, knots weaken ropes from if you wrapped it around a big round of ice a couple times and pulled it nice and slowly, you're gonna get full strength. But since that's not realistic and a pain to do, we put knots in it for the slack snap machine. So um, this rope has typically broken in that 18 kilonewton range. A kilonewton is 225 pounds of force, but not everybody likes pounds, but we can all agree on kilonewtons. Steve seductively rubbed an enormous amount of sunscreen on the middle section of all these ropes, and now it's dried. So we did, oh, sort of dry. It's a little like frosting now. So luckily on a farm, there's random barrel of oil. And so Steve dipped this not once, but twice in the middle of this rope. Since last night, it the oil has wicked up into um not all the way through the knot but definitely uh definitely more than we dipped it it looks like the sharpies that we uh put on the ropes in another video but it's definitely not sharpie now if this does not break your rope lower i don't recommend putting this on there it'll be more slippery and i shouldn't probably be touching this should i no no so i am expecting acid to break this rope. Either we have the wrong rope or the wrong acid if this doesn't break it lower. It looks more dull. It's pretty hard to inspect a rope for a chemical like that. Um, maybe just don't store your ropes near batteries. Come on, come on. Come on, D. Do some damage. Do some damage. I've broken the knot. All right. Working the knot. 18.55, that's a boring graph. Oh, wow, look. You should lock your carabiners. <laughs> oh, wow. It smells like mountain deodorant. It'll mask any of your smells. Whew, that is... That is some toxic stuff, man. <laughs> There's a graph for you. Oh, that oh, open. that's really and good for the carabiner. Try not to spill stuff on your ropes because it's gross. Oh, oh, I thought that it broke there. It didn't. That was the tail. Oh, I got all excited. We discovered something. Nope. <laughs> Nothing new here. Oh, it got it broke in the knot. 
Oh, we got sunscreen everywhere. Oh, no. That's gross. So is this sunscreen dangerous? Uh... Apparently not. There's two different classes of sunscreen. There's mineral-based sunscreens, which are zinc and titanium, and then there's chemical-based sunscreens, which is what we tested today. So the way that the mineral-based sunscreens work is they sit on the surface of the skin and they scatter light away through their reflective properties. The chemical sunscreens actually get absorbed into your skin and UV light enters the skin and it undergoes a chemical reaction that neutralizes the UV radiation and dissipates it as heat. So, um, you know, there is a thought that maybe it could get into your ropes and weaken the integrity of the rope. We see that that actually broke in the knot and we got full strength. So I think the moral of the story here is put on your sunscreen. Oh, here's Dogecoin. That's not Dogecoin. That's my rope. Okay, there's your sunscreen. There's there you your brake. So that's what ropes look like when they break in <coughs> the knot. It's stronger. Oh. Ergo, you should wear sunscreen. <laughs> so we have a, another video where we tested contaminants on slackline webbing because the channel used to be about slacklining, right? And so we actually tested, I think, 15 different contaminants, and you can go check out that pretty much none of them, beer, Coke, uh, different kinds of bug sprays, uh, all sorts of things, did not affect uh, the webbing which was also made out of nylon and polyester, right? This is a nylon rope for FYI. And so I don't think it's going to affect a polyester rope. I'm making that up though, mostly because I did that from my other test. Now our next sample is oil, which I may or may not have done on the webbing, but uh, ropes are basically just made out of like, yeah, process AF oil. I'm sure it's a little bit more complicated than that, but nylon is... A petroleum based product. So uh, it's the acids that affect anything in the acid family is going to affect nylon. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But let's break the oil. Oh, that's going to make a mess. I know, you're going to get covered in oil. Oh, no. That's going to be. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh no, we've got to figure out a better way to do this. Oh, it's on our light. So that's our bolt buster table. We're going to get a new bracket and lower it on the light, but that is not what we're focused on right now. Broke in the, in the what? In the knot? Well, at least it's got a lot less oil in it now. Uh, I think you've got a weld oil machine here now too. Oh, well oil machine. Oh, hardy har har. Hardy har har. <laughs> Oh, you're all suited up. What are you about to test? We're going to go see if Purcell's load limit enough not to desheath the rope on an ascender. And if people want to see that video, what are they going to have to do? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> red you, got, you got the answer right. Yeah. Uh, Ba-boom. Ruining the slack sap machine for you guys. Make sure you click that like button. It's dirty. I don't want oil on my ropes because I don't want them to be, you know, Oil. oily. But at least I'm like, they're not gonna break. They're not gonna hold in your Grigory, but they're not gonna break. No way. Finally, a result. Yeah, don't don't touch the middle, though. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't touch the middle. Why? 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 I don't understand. Because the same thing will happen to your skin as what happened to the rope. It'll what? Break it 10k in? Half of what? Well, I cannot believe we got 10 out of this. I think that's the first knot in the knot break I've the, seen. The... Consistent results. Wow, that is really consistent results. But I don't know what to touch. I don't really want to. Oh, get off my other rope. 
<laughs> Ooh. Ah, we got a bit more this time. That is awesome. I'm uh, I'm excited to see rope break not in the knot for once. <laughs> it took acid. It, it did. A mixture of acids. Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> like so, like all the acids in one. Sweet. Yeah, that or a machete. Yeah. A machete. <laughs> I was like, what What chemicals machete? <laughs> <laughs> We're here today working on a little rescue stuff, um, testing whether the load limiting capabilities of a Purcell are going to be enough to keep a factor one fall onto an ascender from desheathing the rope. All right. And what are people going to have to do, Bobby, to see that? I'm not sure they can figure it out. <laughs> 